Hi guys, so today in this video we'll take a look at how you can basically rank your Shopify uh, store from scratch, how you can get a lot of organic traffic without paying a lot of bucks to Zuckerberg and running your uh, Facebook ads and everything and you can how you can get a lot of organic sales. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, uh, I'd like to show you why you should listen to me, why, what kind of results we have gotten for our clients. So this is a client that when they started working with us, they were hardly getting around 70, 80 clicks per day. From there, we have grown them to 1000 clicks per day and all of their traffic is coming to product pages and collection pages, which is where all of the money is made in Shopify and in e-commerce SEO. So their revenue has also grown by 700, 800% and that is the kind of SEO I'll be teaching you in this video, how you can uh, do for your brand, how you can grow your, uh, your Shopify store with the same methods that I, I do for my own clients and how you can also grow with SEO. So let's get started. So for this uh, example, let's look at leather handbags as a keyword. So I, I went into Ahrefs, I opened Keywords Explorer and I've entered this uh, term. So you can also use SEMrush or Ubersuggest or any other tool that you want to take a look at. Uh, first thing first, the keyword difficulty is 12. Uh, although I, we don't really go by this metrics, we just take a look at it to get an inspiration. Uh, the search volume is 3.4 thousand, traffic potential and all of this is given here. Then there's keywords ideas, we'll come back to it later. But first let's look at what's ranking for leather bags. So there's this side that's ranking with DR55. DR is basically a metric that defines how authoritative your website is. So it's a score between zero to hundred. And the higher that score is, the more uh, competitive it is to outrank that website. So the more authority you have, uh, the more uh, keywords you'd rank for, the more traffic you would get in general. Uh, and how do you increase the DR? It's basically a combination of how much backlinks you have, what kind of uh, overall or topical authority you have and everything. But DR is uh, after at the end of the day an independent uh, third party metric. So uh, take it with a grain of salt. So yeah, here uh, if you see uh, the first site ranking is DR55. So what I do is I'll simultaneously open uh, the top three ranking sites. And what we'll do is we'll have a look at what kind of on page SEO they are doing and then we can take inspiration from there on our own side. So uh, um, we will just open the first three, four sites. And if you see, this is the first site uh, that's ranking number one. So very first thing that jumps out to me is uh, that they have a beautiful looking website. So that's a, that's a plus for them. Uh, here if you see they have some content on the collection page it's a collection page that's ranking for the first position so they do ha uh, they have a pop-up that came up uh, they do have some content above the fold uh, up after that content they have all of the product grid box where they have listed all of the products uh, apart from that they have a recent recently viewed section and they don't have any content after the product boxes so that is something that I would definitely add Let's have a quick look at uh, what kind of uh, SEO on page SEO they do, do they have. So if you see leather purses and handbags, uh, they don't have direct they don't directly have leather handbags as in, as the main keyword, uh, but they're still because of the authority that they have DR55, they are still ranking at, as the number one site. Uh, another thing that jumps out to me straight away is H1. They have two H1 headings, which is a massive massive SEO blunder, but because the competition is not so fierce and they already have an authority in this space they're able to rank for this keyword uh, without any trouble and if you are if you're wondering about what extension this is this is uh, my soon to becoming uh, seo extension seo insights pro uh, which will be re being released soon so once it's out there i'll let you know in a video and you can install it and get all of the same details from there uh, you can see uh, it's a collection page uh, if we jump to their heading section so one of the h1 headings they have is an empty tag so if i was this brand a couple of things that i would fix which will help me rank for more, more keywords so they're ranking for around 1400 keywords but if you see here this site is uh, even ranking with their home page and they're ranking for almost double of their keywords so there's still a lot of scope for this page to rank for more keywords and get more traffic so what I do is I fix this basic SEO issues that are there. I fix the H1 headings and even the H2 headings. If you see card subtotal seven extra 30%, these headings don't really make sense uh, for this page. So I would get rid of these H2 headings and I would keep only the headings that would make sense for 
for this page so for example leather bags uh, different variations of leather bags this should be uh, would be my h2 rather than these being an h2 which is card subtotal save an extra 30 percent and all of these these should not be my h2 they have a lot of h2s on the page lot of h3s on the page uh, the h4s are also there so that's one thing that they should look uh, if you have a look uh, on the links on the page uh, they have a lot of couple of internal links are also empty with empty anchor text so I would fix that as well uh, then if you load uh, the core web vital score uh, that's that's also looking fine so far so overall I mean uh, there even though they're uh, on page uh, SEO is not really great they're ranking because of their DR which is 55 so overall in competition they have decent backlinks also so if we open their backlinks like SEO is obviously a combination of on page SEO and off page SEO so it's important that your on page SEO is on point but with backlinks I mean sometimes even if your on page SEO is not very well poised like we saw in this example you are still able to rank because of the power the link juice that's coming to your website so if you apply some filters uh, they do have almost uh, 32 good links and some of these links uh, seem to be from really high authority from websites and that's they have uh, got links from fashion sites uh, and other lifestyle mirror and some dr70 plus links and all of that so because of that they have been able to rank uh, for our uh, number one let's have a look at some of the other sites that are ranking so this is an dot uh, it domain that's ranking in the us if we have selected us yes uh they are not as pretty as the other side but uh, if you see uh they do have some content on the top not too much if we see how much content this is this is only around 50 words then they have the products here and they have some content afterwards so this is a good thing they have linked to other collection pages from this content section which is something that i recommend uh, but they have overlinked it and so it looks spammy so what i would suggest is link to one or two uh, relevant collection pages from from this section uh, don't overdo it because it then looks spammy just like it's looking like here uh, if we take a look at their uh, on page SEO leather bags for women so good thing they do have uh, the keywords in the uh, h1 title which is where it should be uh, in the description the description is longer than uh, the desired limit of 155 160 characters and they don't have the keyword also in this in the description so what I would suggest is you should have the main keyword in the title main keyword in the descriptions uh, then again headings uh, thankfully they have only one heading and that's h1 heading but again there here i find find that this this heading is not uh, proper this this section is being pulled into an h2 heading which is something that i would immediately fix uh, the, apart from that if you see uh, they have used variations of leather handbags which makes it easier so they have decently used the h2 headings uh, apart from them this h3 headings they have not used properly because such big headings are so basically the text portions are also being crawled in i think in terms of as headings which is something that their developer needs to look at and and get it fixed which is it's i think it's happening across the page so this is a major problem for them as well so and the fact that they're ranking despite of all of these issues is is an, a testament that this niche is not as competitive as someone would think so with if you do SEO the right way if you are a leather uh, bag brand uh, if you do the SEO the right way reach out to us we'll help you outrank these sites uh, with very much ease uh, if, if we just do the SEO done right on page SEO done right and off page SEO done right and if you see they don't even have a lot of backlinks or domain authority so this is if you are a, a leather handbag brand this is a keyword you should definitely look into and go after right uh, let's have a look at a couple of more examples uh, so the, these guys they don't have any content above the fold uh, just a tagline then they have the product uh, product grid uh, let's see if they have any content down so I don't think they have any content as well so they are basically not don't have any content whatsoever on the page let's see uh, they have only one h1 which is good they don't have the keyword in the meta title they don't have the keyword in the meta descriptions 
they don't even have it in the headings uh their headings are a mess they don't have it in so i mean i think they had they do have a decent dr so pretty much because of the dr they are ranking right now uh they don't have a lot of backlinks as well so it's only three referring domains so it's most of the backlinks are coming from one of the uh auto generated links so if i just go there it's from the help domain so which is dr82 and apart from that they don't have any link so this this would be a keyword that you should definitely be going after if you are an e-commerce brand that sells uh handbags uh, apart from that if you see here a dr0 site is ranking on the sixth spot that means again uh, and they're ranking for leather purse so if you are an e-commerce brand that deals in leather handbags and purses i mean this is like an open playground for you that you should definitely go after and look if and how you and just reach out to us and we'll help you rank for this this is uh easy stuff uh, that you should be grabbing and and the amount of sales that could be generated so let's have a look at the potential so globally it's, uh, it has got almost 13000 search volume and hrefs way underestimates the search volume so whatever it shows you can kind of double it uh, just for the sake of it so this would uh, get you around 20 25000 monthly traffic just free organic traffic to to your collection pages from where you can estimate the number of sales that you can generate So yeah, uh, I'll wrap this video up. Uh, for just, I mean, this is the kind of possibility that's there with e-commerce SEO uh, for for e-commerce brands, and this is how this is the kind of results that we get for our clients by working on them by getting their on-page SEO done right and their off-page SEO. We take care of everything. It's a done for you package that we work for our clients. uh but yeah if you are leather uh, handbag related brand do reach out to us and we'll help you uh, kill this competition and and rank for for all of the keywords in this space see you in the next one piece